Good morning guys, I'm eating breakfast on the go. Abby is up, it is 10 to 9, and she is heading out already this morning. She's heading out without me, without Sophie, Sophie's still sleeping. Um, a Fiona message today, we are expecting crazy bad weather, crazy bad, freezing rain, all the schools are canceled, and she's headed to the barn to do chores. And she messaged and asked Gabby if she wants to way. go and help. She's on her way. All right, let's get going. All right, bye-bye. See you later. Have a good morning. Bye. See ya. That is the very first time that Gabby's ever been asked to go help with morning chores. It is her dream, though, to wake up in the morning and go and help out and do chores at the barn. Like, that's just such a big thing for her, and she's super excited, and I'm excited for her. I'm excited for me, too, because... She doesn't go to school, she does homeschool, and people always think that homeschool kids have problems with socialization, but that is so far from the truth. Usually homeschool kids have better socialization skills, honestly. In the olden days, when it was just like a select group of um, religious groups that homeschooled their kids, it was a bit of a different thing because not very many kids were homeschooled, but it's so different now, you guys. And homeschool kids often have amazing social skills for Gabby to be able to get up, she's a shy girl, get up, get dressed, go to the barn with an adult and help do chores. It is huge, it's a big, huge deal. So it's a win for her, it's a win for Fiona because she's getting a little bit of help before the bad weather comes. It's a win for Gabby because she's getting to do what she loves and it's a win for me because I know that something good is coming from homeschool. Sophie. What? You just woke up. She always sleeps in now. You always sleep in yeah, now. Bunny. And we are gonna see what's happening with the bunnies. Oh, that's a good sign. So that's a good sign. We got a boy that's over there. That's a bad sign. And a boy over there. She better not be pregnant again, honestly. Man, it's definitely getting colder in here. I'm more worried about the bunnies now. We better check them. <sighs> so one bunny, I think it's Sophie's bunny. No, Gabby's. Gabby's bunny is in with the girl. Fortunately, she's over here guarding her babies, and he's over there. I'll grab them for you. Bad boy. Can you see him? Yep. Such a bad boy. Look at the face. This is Can not you your pen. Tell who it is. Hmm. And this is my bunny. I'll tell. <laughs> oh, I just saw a little bit of movement. So I'm guessing babies are good. She tucks them in so good. Oh yeah, I think everybody's okay. They're getting so big. Look how cute. That ear. Okay, I'm just gonna warm you back up. Warm you back up, tuck you back in. You're okay, don't come out of there. I hate messing with them. sister's away it's a good thing to have a friend huh never be alone with this guy never be alone with you look how sweet he's becoming you're gonna be getting fixed I'm gonna call today and make an appointment he hates to be under blankets Does he? it's like he's being attacked <laughs> so he gets out of that and like pats it down <laughs> <laughs> did you put him under a blanket yeah the night we were playing with them oh the other day we watched TV with them. Yeah. Look at how cute he is. Somebody is sick again, and I'm not going to name any names, but they have a brand new cold virus. <laughs> yeah, poor Sophie. Yesterday at the barn, she's looking a little 
sick to me and I... Well, at least it's a better cold. Yeah, it's a better one. It's not in her chest. It's in her nose. It's not very fun though, is it? No. All right, so I had to improvise. I took out the box because obviously they're using it as a jumping thing and I put this blanket and made it kind of like a tent. But yeah, they're they're gonna rip it apart, I know. One already tried to climb on it. Which was Gabby's. <laughs> so yeah, it is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You guys are gonna pull this down or get use it as a trampoline to get over to her. I swear, I don't like to sound sexist, but she's over here, I just saw her. She's over here like, woo hoo, boys, come and get me. She's like, come get me. Look how pretty she is though. She's totally destroyed her, her pen. I allowed her to make a nest over there even though she does not need a nest over there. But look, she's chewing the wood. You gotta come out of there, Missy. I'm cleaning out my purse because my barn purse always gets hay in it. And I want to show you guys what I brought home. Hey, yuck. Oh. What is it? Hair. Hair? Well, who's hair? It feels so weird. I probably shouldn't have it on the table considering that. I touched that. It's cool. I'm going to keep this forever. Because <laughs> she's always going to be our first horse, huh? I have to bring that home. Kids get grossed out by the weirdest things, but this is her hair, you guys. This is how much we cut off, and we love her, and I want to keep it forever. It'll always be, I wish I had cut it off in one piece and then was able to braid it and save it. Sophie and I are reading the letter that we got from the we barn yesterday from Maddie. And it is actually a really, really nice. It has a lot of bunny um, care info in it, but at the beginning, she writes about how she used to ride a Fiona's and how she switched barns and that um, she misses riding with the girls at our barn and that she misses some of the horses and then she has her whole career planned out. She knows exactly where she's gonna go. Um, she's at university, how many horses she's gonna have and what she wants to do with her life and she's almost 14 and that's amazing because I was not even close to knowing what I wanted to do when I was that age but you can tell that Maddie is totally on the straight and narrow and she knows exactly what's gonna happen and I have no doubt that it's all gonna come true for her. She drew us all these pictures of her pets. She has two dogs, two cats, and a bunny. Is that what, right? Two. Yeah, that's a bunny. Right, so two dogs. I thought she had two cats. Wait, two cats, a dog, and a bunny. And she. these are her three dream horses. She also drew all of our pets. Dustin, cookie dough. Just wait, listen. And Sophie was so excited that she actually wrote cookie dough instead of just cookie. And look at how cute Ruby is. And she even drew Sabrina for us. Thanks, Maddie. The girls and I are getting ready to go to the barn, or we're all getting ready to go well, to the barn. But we decided to come and check on the bunnies. Cut bunnies. Cut bunnies. Yay, <laughs> everything's good. So I had to take out this thing, Gabby. So it's dark and dreary out, pouring rain, and it's supposed to freezing rain, well, but remember, there's no, it's not freezing yet. Remember, we all have to walk down. Yeah, we all have to walk down. But Gabby and I have to walk down in the pouring rain that everybody should have to, huh? <laughs> yeah, because we always walk down. Pure ice, you guys. It's not even that bad. Oh, oh yeah. It is slippery out here. Riding license got canceled. Oh my god, it is. Whoa. Ah, be careful. To walk with you? No. Whoa. Yeah. Look at it. It's been raining for like an hour and the car is covered in ice. So, riding license got canceled because of the freezing rain for tonight, but we're going to make them up. But we're going out, we're gonna risk the weather because we found a farm. We found a farm, we're gonna go look at it. We're not actually, 
We're not actually gonna go in right now. We're just gonna drive by and see if it's a good contender. And if it is a good contender, then we're gonna go and look at it, you guys. So it's only January. Oh God, that scared me. <laughs> that scared me too. All right, you guys, this is the house that Sam is trying to talk me into. Remember, remember we're trying to do this without a mortgage. There's the barn. There's the barn. Yeah, there it is. It's oh, actually a lot. Look, there's a building there. back there. Yeah, there's another building. So. so, and this is like the field attached to the barn. Oh, there's a fence there, Sam. Yeah. This is a tiny little house. I want one out there. Why is that big? Yeah. Probably what? right here is probably fine. So. Right along here, the, the camper is probably behind that fence. And then it goes all the way out to this fence line and then back. The beaver. The beaver. Keep her warm. Yeah. Put your coat on. Poor Table, Sophie. Please. So we decided to stop and eat at a Chinese restaurant on our way home because we were feeling like Chinese and suddenly Sylvia is sick again. This is what happens to her. Can you guys tell? She gets that She's eye thing. Red. Look at her eyes Fine. are running. Sylvia, are you going to be able to stay and eat? You want to just go home? Are you sure? We're not Put going your home. Coat on. Mom, Gabby Sophia is starving. Can stay in the car. Gabby oh, is so Dad hungry. I wish I had some Tylenol for you, my love. You gonna put your coat on? I like mostly cold. She's just mostly cold. What should I get? Um, beef. I feel like beef today. I never get beef. Shrimp. Come with me and get it. Right. Sophie, get shrimp. Sophie, do you want help? Bacon and shrimp. You're a bacon and shrimp girl, not a meat and potato girl. Bacon and shrimp girl. My absolute favorite part of Chinese is wonton soup. It is That's so soup. good. It is soup. Doesn't that look so yummy? Don't you just want to eat it? No. What did you have? Shrimp, shrimp and, bacon. and bacon. Sophie's gone up to get some bacon. Okay, so Gabby got, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. What's yours, Sophie? You are the best. You are the best? <coughs> Do not be intimidated by the eloquence of others. Nobody is better than you. Everybody is created equal. It really says, sing and rejoice. Fortune is smiling on you. Ooh, that's good. Sam is in the year, it's the year of the dog and Sam is a dog. Woof, woof. Okay, mine is a weird one. It says, you desire recognition and you will find it. I feel like I don't want, don't care about recognition. Although I have a YouTube channel, so I don't know how that goes, but I don't need recognition. I can fit into the crowd. All right, you guys, I'm with Sick Sophie here. I'm gonna start calling you Sick Sophie. Uh -uh. No, I'm just kidding. She, she's not very happy when she's sick. You can tell she's feeling sick because she's got super red cheeks and droopy eyes, <laughs> poor girl. I'm just getting ready to tuck her into bed, but before I do, we're gonna do comment of the day, and I'm gonna update you on some things. We are gonna go and see a horse on Sunday. I will tell you guys what horse it is and give you all the details tomorrow because we don't have much time. And we, um, I have made an appointment for the bunnies to get fixed, and they don't have any appointments until February the 15th. Um, anyway, so they're going on February the 15th both boys to get neutered. So that's gonna be done soon. We went to look at a farm, you guys. We only drove by, but we liked it. So hopefully we'll be able to get an appointment and go see it because it is intriguing. It is definitely gonna need a ton of work. Um, but like I said before, we want to um, be debt free. So we're trying to get something that we can afford. So, um, oh, I'm so sorry. 
So ferrets and dogs said, I saw your post on Instagram and we had to guess which horse it was. I guess Ben and my name on Insta is Misha underscore and underscore Hunter. Um, they are my dogs. Great job, girls. And the bunnies are adorable. It is so sad about the two baby rabbits. It's only sad about the one baby rabbit because we revived one. Um, but thank you so much for your comment. And, and she's talking about the fact that um, yesterday I posted a video of Gabby riding a horse. And I said, who can tell me um, the name of this horse? And everybody it was knew ben. it was Ben. Like, everybody knew it was Ben. Also, Caitlin Harrington says, is it me or you guys haven't done a shout out? I didn't see one yesterday or today. Please do one tomorrow and please be me. If you do a shout out tomorrow, love you so much and bye. <laughs> love you, Caitlin Harrington. Anyway, it is true. Sometimes on the weekends we are so busy that our vlogs get really long and so we don't do um, comment of the day just because we can't fit everything in. Um, we try and do a couple a few times each week so that we can kind of keep caught up. All right, you guys, that is it for today. I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings. Hope you guys had a fabulous day, and I hope none of you guys are sick. I'm a different kind of sick. You're a different kind of sick. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.